All right, everybody. Hey, uh, so I pre-ordered this game, and they kept telling me it wasn't coming out until December 31st, 2018, which I was okay with, you know. I was like, I'll play it next year. I've played the demo like a billion times because it's so awesome. And uh, so it was my birthday the other week on February 27th and I was out of town having a great, great ass birthday and I get home <clears throat> and here it is, Moss, on my PlayStation when I got home. It's so amazing. So now we're going to, we're going to play this game and uh, here we go. We'll see how close it is to the demo. The demo was so great. I loved it. I still love it, but now I got the game. Woohoo! Here we go. Your time has come at last, dear oh, reader. Narration. While we began this tale long ago, we hope it is yours to finish. But this story is not yours alone. No, it is tied to another. And the journey you take together could change the fate of both our worlds. Shall we begin? Yes. Let's turn the page and begin. They called it the Cinder Knight. What came from those dark, starless skies would change the world of Moss forever. The peace that had settled across the land was broken by an unconquerable nightmare. And that night, the animals nearly met their end. Oh no. First, they killed the king. What? A winged creature broke from the shadows and plucked him from his royal bedchamber high atop the tallest tower. Next, the serpent Sarfog and the armies of the Arcane tore up from the underworld. They ravaged the castle in search of that which gave the king power beyond understanding. One of the fabled glass relics. At least now I'm getting to know the story. <clears throat> the king's guard fought bravely, but the castle soon pulsed with the arcane's evil. Every room was gutted, every statue, tapestry, and adornment hexed. But the glass was never found. Even the reclusive sprites set aside their differences on that faded night. They sent a great champion, empowered by their own glass relic, to challenge the serpent and its steel army. Meanwhile, Sir Argus, commander of the King's Guard, led the survivors west through a temple long abandoned by their ancestors and far away from their newly risen enemies. It was an arduous escape. Finally, after passage beneath the impassable mire, they found refuge in a clearing hidden safely in the trees. Argus charged back to join the Sprite Champion at the Mire's edge. Together, they fought back the Arcane and sealed oh, the Temple passage critters. that led to the clearing. But the Champion was gravely injured. Clutching his glass, he retreated deep into the forest where he drew his last breath. A large tree grew upon him. It stood many years in watchful duty, safeguarding the glass and awaiting its next hero. So yeah, that's that door to the temple in uh, <coughs> the demo. Whoa, here we go. Okay. That hero, albeit an unlikely one, did arrive at a time she'd be needed most.
Quill was out adventuring beyond the edge of the clearing. Dusk was creeping in, there but she, she wondered what she might find if she went just a little farther. Super cute mousey. Hi, Quill. Oh, hey. Yeah, hi. That's a big bird. Sucker came right at me. She was not exactly sure what she roused, but she felt no danger from the beings silently peering down at her. Hi, little quill. Hi, little, little, little mousy. Quill had to hurry. The village gates would soon close, and night <coughs> would follow. So besides the narration, this is pretty close to the demo. Little ladybug. Let's see. In the demo, you go from here. Oh, that would go up to the temple, but that's not the temple over there. So it's a little different. This first little section is kind of the same. Oh yeah, you can still cut blades of grass. And see, oh, we are nature god, so we must interact and help this little little mousy. So there's a clue in this game. You can always know where to climb by these little white scratchy marks there. Right there. And uh, let's see what's different. Because th <coughs> in the demo, this would take you to the, the temple gates. There we are again. And... Uh, you would only see yourself in the first waters, not any other waters. Oh, I don't think. Okay. Like I just said. Night, her uncle often warned, was when danger was most present. Follow the scratchy Quill things. preferred the stories of the magical creatures that woke to protect the forest. Oh, shoot. Okay. Move this over. <sighs> Is that right? Oh, now I got... Okay. Move it back. Those must be collectible scrolls. This layout's different. There's a lot of uh, like stone relic stuff. As we go down this hollow tree, let's go. So this is going to be part one. Um, 
I'm sure I'm going to have like four or five, maybe six parts while I play this. It'll review it. There you are. Hey, Quill! <coughs> so far, I am super psyched. I'm totally loving it. All the animations are beautiful. They're super smooth. Textures. Get over there. No. Not maybe. No. Nope. I don't think so. But for this interaction. You little mouthy. Uh, the interactions in this are really cool. Let's to collect stuff in here while you're breaking stuff. I don't know what we're collecting. But I am down. Oh, is that another? It's another scroll. That's what's so cool about this environment. You can stand up, walk around, look over the gate. Ah, oh, it's a village. Sweet. All right, come on, Quill. Yeah, I'm ready. Come on. Yeah. That scroll. Somebody's whispering something in my ear. Okay, there's nothing else up there. Let's get this gate open. There you go, little girl. There's other mice. I thought I was all by myself. The demo, you're all by yourself. Hey, Dad. Yeah, I know. I was late. Gates were closed. Mm -hmm. Hi, little mices. I'm going home. This uh, is amazing. game and the animations. Alright. Oh, look, there's another... Hey, buddy! Alright. Now, every time you see these tile things, you can light them up then you know you can interact with it. Alright, so I slow that down. 
Yes, Quill. We will go up there. Ah, too soon. What I know, girl. There you go. Careful. I know I'm controlling you, but still be careful. up on what those are. <coughs> oh, careful. Don't fall off that rooftop. Okay. All right. Uh, there we go. Thanks to her new friend, Quill had saved priceless grains from the hourglass. I guess you don't have fall damage too bad here. Right. She raced to the door of the cottage she shared with her uncle, hoping once he saw her discovery, he'd lose himself in tales of its legend. Look at squirrel. People ride squirrels here. Or mice. All right, where are we at? Oh, we're back in the library. <coughs> Uncle Argus was watching the evening light dim when Quill burst through the front door of their cottage. Uncle, Uncle, there's something you have to see. Out past the bell again, he scolded. Quill, I've told you countless times. I know. Quill replied, crestfallen. I didn't mean to worry you, but I found something strange and magical. Oh. <coughs> so that's where your the scroll pieces are ending up. Okay. Quill's hands trembled as she showed him the glass. What is it? she asked. A look of panic spilled over her uncle's stoic exterior. Where did you find this? roared Uncle Argus. Quill had never seen her uncle so shaken. Just west of the clearing, she explained. And as soon as I picked it up, something started helping me. Uncle Argus followed her motion. A reader. With you, here, right now? Quill, what you found is very powerful and very dangerous, he said with great concern. If I could take this burden from you, I would. But this reader has chosen. Yes. I, the reader, chose Even Quill. with the moon full and bright, I must go right away. Quill pressed. Where are you going? I can help. We can help. No, he snapped. They'll find you and tear you apart. I have to go alone. It is for your own safety and for oh. everyone here in the clearing. His long, heartfelt hug told her he was heading for danger. Oh no. I'll be back before midnight. Until I return, I need your word you will not leave the clearing with that glass. Promise me, Quill. I promise. 
she said reluctantly, wondering where her uncle was going so deep into the night. Alright, back into the game. Important. Bring that glass and your sidekick too. We're going to need them. Quill called out. Hey, Starthing, wait! Oh, another scroll. Okay. Anything else up here? Yeah, I'm gonna jump on the bed. All right, we better go follow that. That thing. Hey. Quill had never met a starving in campfire stories. They often meddled in the lives of mortals. And when they appeared, <sighs> mischief followed. Look at all the fireflies and stuff. Passage through the Eastern Gate was strictly forbidden. But despite her promise, who knew in her heart that Uncle Argus needed her? Anything else down there? No. <laughs> There's another scroll. Let's get that scroll. Well, uh, let me get this for you. Quill demanded answers. Starving, you can't just barge in here with your riddles. Where is he? What do you know? Anything hidden in there? your uncle's heading for is the kind only you and that silent giant up there can get him out of. I'm not silent. Right now. Alright. How do I get up here? This 
Okay, kid, urged the starling. And don't forget to tuck your ears in. Yeah, I'm with you. I'm behind you. Let's go, Quill.